Welcome back. It's been a while since we've done a legislative update, but we had some big news this week. NCHBA's top legislative priority, Senate Bill 166, 2024 Building Code Regulatory Reform, sponsored by Senators Joyce Kravick, Steve Jarvis, and Paul Lowe, was enacted into law on Wednesday after the House voted 70 to 40 to override the governor's veto. The vote came on the heels of the Senate vote on Monday, which cleared 27 to 17. This bill contains nearly 30 provisions dealing with land development, building codes, and the creation of the Commercial Building Code Council. Monday's Senate vote was fairly certain as both the Republicans and Democrats had three members absent, meaning the three-fifths threshold would not be a problem. However, the uncertainty came on Wednesday when Republicans had eight members absent and the Democrats were only down two. A party line vote would have doomed the prospects of passage for this legislation. However, our team had worked with a handful of House Democrats and knew we had the six votes needed to overcome the veto. Uh, with this information in hand, our team worked directly with Speaker Tim Moore, who moved forward with the vote. It remains our goal to reduce the regulatory barriers that are harming house housing affordability in North Carolina. It is estimated that the cost of regulation results in an additional 25% of the final cost of a home. The veto override wasn't the only thing happening this week. Lockhart Taylor was confirmed to the Department of Employment Security Board of Review on Wednesday. This agency is critical importance to our industry and the business community and as a whole. Uh, the, that agency administers the state unemployment insurance system. This board review uh, reviews all appeals made by both the employee and the employer from decisions made from DES hearing officers. This board is designed to provide a fair and objective review of agencies decisions. This year, the governor coordinated with the business community prior to the nomination of Lockhart. Uh, pr prior to his appointment, Lockhart began his career with the state government as a labor market analyst in October 1993 for the Employment Security Commission and held numerous positions upon leaving that agency in May of 2020. Congratulations to Lockhart. We know you will do a phenomenal job. Finally, the General Assembly has scheduled dates in the future in October, November, and December to come back to address additional legis legislation. We do not know their agenda at this time. However, we will be there every step of the way. For more information, read our written legislative report.